Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to beat a trespassing charge. Understanding trespassing charges is crucial. Trespassing involves entering or remaining on someone else's property without permission. It is typically classified as a misdemeanor, but can escalate to a felony. First, examine the specifics of the charge. The prosecution must prove that you knowingly entered or stayed on the property without consent. This is a key element that can be challenged. Consider whether you had permission to be on the property. Written or verbal consent from the property owner can be a strong defense. If you believed you had permission, this could negate the intent required for a trespassing charge. Another defense is the lack of proper signage. For a trespassing charge to hold, the property must have clear no trespassing signs. If the signs were not visible or present, this could weaken the prosecution's case. Mistake of fact is another potential defense. If you genuinely believed you were on public property or had a right to be there, this could be a valid argument. This defense relies on proving your belief was reasonable. In some cases, necessity can be a defense. If you trespass to avoid imminent harm or danger, this might justify your actions. This defense requires demonstrating that the trespass was the only option to prevent greater harm. Consulting with an attorney is essential. Legal professionals can evaluate the specifics of your case and advise on the best defense strategies. They can also negotiate with prosecutors to reduce or dismiss charges. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.